G'day, I'm Alistair Christie. Uh, I believe this to be my eighth uh, video blog post uh, for LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, vlog, this video blog. I, think, I, I don't think that term ever caught on. So, um, big news, uh, I finished building applications in Delphi with the Visual Component Library Part 3. So it's another six hour video uh, available for sale at on LearnDelphi.tv. Um, it's the same price as the others, $40, um, so it, it's pretty good value for money. If, if you're um, charging for your time uh, and you're charging more than the minimum wage, it's going to cost you way more to watch than to buy. It's, 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 it's really cheap, basically. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the time to watch it. And uh, so um, it, it follows on from, from parts one and two. Um, this time we cover uh, T-list view and T-tree view, both are enormous components. Um, it's about half the videos is covering those. Um, I, I do various dialogues and we, um, context sensitive help is the other other topic that, that I cover, um, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, and yeah, so it's so the the help is the um, each each video I'm trying to cover a large um, topic out of um, sort of a bunch of properties. Um, so in the first one it was uh, so part one was drag and um, drag and drop, and then in part two we did drag and dock, and uh, this is this time's help. And I've still got live bindings and um, the gestures and touch to to cover, which I'll, 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 I guess I'll be doing at some stage. Um, but I don't know what I'll cover in in the next video. Uh, whether I will. Um, carry on doing, I've still got the ribbon controls to go, um, a few other miscellaneous, um, you know, the action manager and um, action toolbar, I suppose, I don't, I don't know if they're actually used these days, um, to, to cover, um, possibly, possibly writing components as well, writing visual components, um, or, or whether I just uh, move on to doing data awareness or um, do find like instead. Um, Although XC3 is due out very shortly, so I'll, I'll probably wait for that because there's, there's probably some uh, enhancements. Um, I've there's a um, presentation on what's new uh, going on in Auckland next month, um, which I've booked flights for. Uh, I am presuming that is going to be the Delphi XC3 launch, although nothing has been said. So um, looking forward to that. It'll be good fun. Uh, get to catch up with you know a bunch of Delphi people. Um, I've started a, um, well, I, I would, as I started, this is the, have a Wellington Delphi user group, which we've met um, um, probably about four times in the last few years. Um, I'm going to try and make it a bit more regular, either once a month or every, every other month. Um, and basically, we just, most of the time, just hang out and talk. Um, it's, just, it's quite quite interesting to see what other people are doing. Um, so I am currently reading uh, Delphi XC2 Foundations. Um, I am not very far into it. I'm uh, chapter three, uh, and thus far I've I have actually learnt a few bits and pieces. It is a book aimed at people new to Delphi or inexperienced with Delphi. It's probably more um, more accurate. Um, but you know, I've, I've picked up some stuff. I think even if you're a, 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 an expert in Delphi, you'll, you'll probably uh, learn a few little things. Delphi's it's just um, huge, and um, Chris does go into a few things which is new in Delphi XC2, which is nice. Um, uh, I was thinking when I was reading it, there was a, this is a whole bunch of stuff on um, uh, dealing with dates and time zones and UTC and. Um, Passing XML formatted dates and stuff like that. And I, when I was reading it, I was thinking that would have been really really helpful. But the when I, the code I was writing, doing that stuff, where they had to write my own um, date parsing routines, um, which which wasn't very hard to be honest. But um, you know, anything that saves a couple of hours is good. Um, but I was doing it in Devil 2007, so it wouldn't have helped me anyway. But um, um, yeah, so a, I've I've learned bits and pieces from it. Nothing nothing earth shattering. Um, I wouldn't expect to. There's probably in later chapters, a bit more advanced, um, I'll probably find more useful. 
Um, but I, I've, I, I think I've got my money's, money's worth so far. Um, I started reading it on my iPad. I bought the Kindle edition. Um, I've been reading the Dead Tree version and um, a little bit on my phone as well if I'm waiting for some takeaways or something like that. I can read, read a little bit, although I must confess I've been playing, playing a little um, bubble breaker type game. Um, Bull Madness or something, I can't remember what it's called. Um, so um, I would, would recommend the book. Um, it's an excellent complement to my videos actually. Um, this doesn't seem to cover building sort of UI type stuff. Um, which is what, what I go into. This is using sort of the pure native date, um, Delphi VCL stuff. Um, so yes, my recommendation is buy the book. Um, I will do a, a much bigger review uh, later on once I have finished the book uh, completely. But um, I, I, I try and read a lot of books. A lot of books. I've been a bit lazy lately. Uh, I'm so lazy. I've been making videos, but um, it's kind of been distracting me from. Um, from, from reading and, and studying, although I have been learning stuff uh, while making the videos. Um, and, and yeah, what, what, what big decisions to what to do, what to do next. I, I, lately I've been um, I've been tackling uh, the OAuth, which is the authentic authentication protocol that um, was developed for Twitter, but um, Google uses it. Uses it. Um, in particular, TradeMe, TradeMe.co.nz, which is sort of like eBay for New Zealand. There is no eBay in New Zealand. Um, I've, I, I've actually, to be honest, I, I had, did actually buy something off eBay, but it wasn't the New Zealand eBay site. I don't, don't know if there is one. Um, it's an AC adapter for a um, hard drive that I somehow had gone missing in a, in a shift. Um, so yeah, I've been tackling OAuth. I might make some videos on that. Might make some commercial videos on a, a commercial video uh, on that, which would be quite cool because um, OAuth is is very very useful. Um, I, I'm particularly use, in, interested in it for the, the um, interfacing with TradeMe and um, MailChimp, which also uses OAuth, but I'm not sure which version of OAuth uh, uh, MailChimp uses. Um, the current one is 2.0, and I've been playing with 1.0a, which is um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty complicated to to write. I've um, as uh, Chuck Beasley Chuck Beasley has written some stuff, and I got a um, updated version of that of a fellow New Zealand Delphi developer. Um, so I should, should share that. So, um, under MPL, so I should probably redistribute my changes. Um, and I've, I've written a, a nice wrapper for it, which makes it really quite <laughs> simple to, to, to do your um, authentication. Um, it's, yeah, all is pretty cool, but um, quite hard. Um, fiddly, I should say. The, the, the protocol, I mean, the, the description of it is not, not that long, but um, uh, it, is, it is very fiddly getting all the um, hashing and that sort of stuff sorted. You know, I'm, I'm digressing from from, um, from my topic at hand, which was with the XT2 book. Um, buy it. Um, you know, and, and also, uh, I'd, I'd recommend buying my videos. It's a good comment to my videos. Um, uh, moving on. New logo. So um, I am getting a new logo done for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, basically, um, I need to make LearnDelphi.tv look more professional uh, to um, encourage people to, to buy my videos and uh, well to, to feel, feel feel safer about buying them. I think uh, having a um, uh, so the, the f first step is the, the new logo, and then based on that, I've redesigned the website to get this, the same sort of colours and stuff. Um, to be consistent, and I'll, I'll probably um, upgrade to the latest, latest version of Joomla and find a professionally designed template and uh, um, sort of customize it to make the, the colors match. Um, and that's so that that's pretty good. So I'm using 99 designs for that. It's in the final stages um, at the moment. Uh, I've got sort of about three days left to run on the on it. So I've I've picked my three finalist designers, um, and I just want to try and customize those designs. I've, I do have one that I prefer, but um, I, my mind changes over time, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, the, the last thing I want to talk about is, is Facebook. Um, I'm getting friend requests from people I have never met, have no idea who, who they are, I, um, which I, I suppose is quite typical, but I, some of them I, I have worked out them, that they are Delphi developers, so I've, I've, I've uh, uh, friended them, um, 
but I'm not sure what the sort of uh, protocol is whether one should friend everyone who requests or uh, be a bit more discerning. Uh, presumably there are security implications um, which I should probably find all, all about, out about. Um, but I'm not very big on social networking. Uh, my, I, have, I think I've made about three posts on Facebook um, to say that I've I met at an airport and the, the third one was I, I found a, um, a hair shampoo in a, it's like an, a, a cheap Asian goods store. Um, the, the brand name was Placenta. Uh, suffice to say, it was not one that I um, <laughs> was particularly keen on trying. Um, so uh, I thought that was quite humorous, but um, I, I don't know uh, why they obviously, they, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there's uh, sort of cultural reasons why they chose that name or something. I don't know, but um, this is a little bit bizarre. Um, so, yeah, so that my I, I'm not big into Facebook. Um, but I, I need to do a bit more with social networking and uh, um, probably have a, a learndelphy.tv product page of some kind. I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm, I'm Alistair Christie reporting, I suppose, for uh, learndelphy.tv.